Okay students, so I hope you learned sufficient information from my last four lectures for developing a flyer design. From this lecture, let's focus on how to prepare flyers in different formats for this flyer design before you send it to your client. Before that, uh, let me recap some main information that you must consider based on the last four lectures. First point is uh, you must create the document with CMYK color mode and 300 dpi resolution. Then you must set bleed and safety line for better alignment and content management on your design canvas. So you must create two layers. One is for die line, uh, which means the template of the design has to be created on this die line layer. And uh, next one is the design layer, which you must develop your design on this layer. And Always a uh, die line layer should be top of the layer panel and design layer should be behind the die line layer. So imagine uh, now you are ready with the design and first thing you must save the file as an illustrator file format in your folder. So I already taught you how to save a file as an AI document uh, via my basic lessons. So when you do a design for your client, this is what the diagram you must follow to sending files for your client step by step. So the first step is you must deliver the design file as a PNG or JPG or PDF file formats to your client for their review. Then uh, your client requests the modifications and then you can do the relevant changes and again you must deliver PNG or JPG or PDF for their review. Likewise, uh, until your client approves the design, you must deliver your design file in one of the above file formats. Okay. Once the design is approved by your client, then you must prepare two files again. One is called source file, another one is called print ready file. Source file refers to the file which can be edited the text content and other source details in your design file in future. So you must deliver the file includes the font files and image file you used in the design along with the AI file. Print ready file is refers to the file which required by printing company of your client or uh, let's say if you are working on a printing company, then you must prepare this print ready file. So you must develop the print ready file in AI and PDF formats. And uh, also in some cases, some printing company may ask for different file formats, which you will learn later on. But uh, PDF and AI file formats are ideal for the most of the printing companies. So uh, let's learn how to prepare these files step by step. First, let's focus on how to save files in PNG, JPG and PDF formats. So uh, to save the file as a PNG format, first tap control semicolon to hide the guidelines. Then choose file, export, export as. Then from here, let's choose a PNG for save as type. Then uh, turn on use artboard option and uh, make sure all option is activate here or else guys uh, you can type here the range if you have multiple artboards in your document window. For example, if I have two artboards in my design document, let's say if I only want to export the artboard one as a PNG format, then I can turn on this option and type here one. Let's imagine uh, if you have four artboards in your design document and let's say if you want to create a PNG file for artboard one and three only, then you must type here one comma three. If you want to create PNG for artboard one, two and three, then in here you can type one dash three. Anyway, uh, currently, as I want to create PNGs for both of these artboards, let me choose all option, then click export button. Then from here, you can set the resolution for the PNG file. So better to choose 300 as this document is small. 
let's say if the document is uh, bigger like 5 by 2 feet or more than that then I better choose 72 dpi or you can choose other uh, from this list and type custom resolution based on your document size so in here let me set it for uh, 300 dpi and uh, let's keep the anti-alias option as it is and from here let's make sure background color is white and then click ok okay then uh, if you open your folder location you can see two png files generated in your folder right now let's focus to create a jpg format file type so again make sure to turn off the guideline visibility if they appear on your document then choose file export export as then from here let's choose jpg format and uh, turn on the artboard option and then you can decide what option you want like all or range so let me activate all options then click export then from here you can choose the color mood so let's uh, make it CMYK and uh, from here let's allow the maximum quality and uh, keep the compression method to baseline standard and from here you can set the resolution so you can follow the same uh, information as I taught you in PNG format explanation so uh, let me keep 300 dpi and uh, keep anti-aliasing option as type optimized hinted for maintain better smoothness of the text object so click ok then again uh, if you open your file location you can see there are two jpg files generated in your folder right finally let's uh, create pdf format so what you have to do is uh, tap ctrl shift s key to open save as dialog box then from here let's choose adobe pdf and turn on the artboard option and click save button then uh, from the pdf dialog box you can set few values so better to keep illustrator default format here and better to keep default compatibility for acrobat 6 let's say if you want to save the pdf uh, in all the version then you can choose acrobat 405 or you can save it in latest version by choosing acrobat 8 also but it's ideal to keep acrobat 6 and uh, from here you can see some few more options so turn on preserve illustrator editing capabilities option is enabling you to edit the pdf file if you open it via illustrator software if you turn off this you cannot edit it via illustrator so better to keep it turned on and uh, better to keep turn on emd page thumbnail also and if you want to save the pdf optimized for fast web view then you can turn on it let's say if you are uploading the pdf in your website then you can choose this option for quickly view on your website and uh, if you want to automatically load the pdf file soon after you saved then you can turn on view pdf after saving option so let me turn on this to show you how it's work and uh, better to keep turn on this create acrobat layers from top level layer option for uh, better layer optimizing then uh, click save button right then uh, soon after you save the document it's open it via PDF reader if you have acrobat software installed in your computer and as well as uh, you can find it via your folder location okay so I believe you understand and uh, in my next lecture let's focus on preparing source file and print ready file thank you